Can you see that, guys? Oh. Got big COVID. So friendly. <laughs> you call life? Life is... What do I call life? Breathing? <laughs> That's all? <laughs> Being okay. with nature? Being with nature, oh yeah. Happiness? Happiness, nice. Simplicity? What else? Family love? Love? Yes, money! Money, <laughs> sure. Sure thing, I agree. You having diving gear or snorkeling gear? Uh, yeah. What's that for? I don't know. Maybe for catching ducks in the river. <laughs> Gwen is very impressed of the electric bike. She borrowed it from my mother and it's really a good thing. I would say it could easily replace a motorbike because smallest effort and you are riding any uphills, any ground, gravel. <laughs> Careful, it's very expensive, it costs more than my life. Yeah. How much it costs? You know? 400,000 pesos. 380 pesos. Yeah. I can already build a very huge house, 380,000 pesos in the Philippines with this bike. Mm. So I brought my diving gears. I'm planning to catch crabs and shrimps. I you know what's crazy about catching this. Kuba is scared. <laughs> I have a very crazy plan right now. We will see. to go down and check something and he found so many coins maybe you will find some jewelry there found coins it's crazy baby catch it this one please do it yourself try 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 baby hold it please try so you won't be scared anymore Jacob has phobia with this one. He said that when he was a child, 
they were scaring they were scaring him like the, this one that's why he has phobia and he's so scared but if it's gonna bite you it's just very very little it's not gonna hurt you but it's like an ant bite but i'm not scared of biting i'm just scared of how it looks like and how it behaves and moves and... it's not they're not aggressive they're like just okay. like this they're fine. They're not gonna bite you. Try it. Or touch it just here. Touch. Which one? Touch. 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 <laughs> or the hair. Here. Here. Touch it. This one. Try touch it, baby. You're even eating them but, and you're scared of them? How dare you? Next time. Next time when we are in the Philippines. Once you get through of this, or if you're not gonna get through of this, I will let you touch spiders, play with spiders in the Philippines because we have this kind of game during summer. We play with spiders. And for sure kids would love to play it with you too. So you have to surpass this one so you can play with spiders. Because for sure my, my family and my siblings would really love to play spiders with you during summer. And you have to learn it. Get through it. You see, woman, man wants to find the money and woman wants it immediately. coming here to this river since I was a baby and through those 26 years I'm still scared of those shrimps or crabs which are living there Gwen is currently hunting for more like we are not really hunting them it's forbidden to hunt the crabs in the rivers here they are like secured by the law but what I can say, in the previous years there were so many those crops, like thousands, but in the last two years they are disappearing and very just a few. Before you were walking on this pavement to the other side and you were literally killing the crops by stepping on them. Hundreds of them were here, but nowadays not anymore. Even when I will dive under the water you also cannot see many fishes like nothing the rivers are becoming dead in Czech Republic what? what did you find? leaves nothing? leaves leaves? yeah <laughs> you know why crops like you? why? because they are cold blooded animals they have cold heart just like you no, I don't and have. I have warm heart and I'm scared of them that's why but it's nice guys look I don't know how it happened but I found some coins and it's always like during summer I go here for snorkeling and looking for things people are moving here can I go for a shopping with those coins? It's my mommy. <laughs> we will dry ourselves and we will think about what we will do like the, the river also started being polluted by those algae and three years ago excavator came here and the excavator started digging all those algae and plants placing them out of the water and then trucks came and send it away why they're not coming here this year it's becoming worse oh well, yeah they 
did a mistake once they started digging all those uh, like the seeds of the algae started like spreading and before the algae was not under the this like this level algae was only from here and above but once they started digging the algae spread all over to the lower parts of the river and it's infected is it bad but there will be so many fishes so many crops will you swim there no there might be something like snake there are snakes in the, in the sweet water too sure yeah hmm. in the philippines sometimes my brothers and his friends are going to the river and they're gonna catch shrimp fishes and snake of sweet water and they're eating it eating it i eat it too i even eat a snake as well in the philippines is the life <laughs> is it good for me to go live to the philippines when i'm scared of crops and spiders yeah, yeah spider is crazy because but they I... have spider gumblings during summer and for sure they want to join with them but i'm not scared of snakes i was even holding huge snakes but everything with legs and what doesn't look like an animal is weird mm. so collect your money i am scared of worms worms yeah i hate worms they cannot even bite you no it's just weird it, they look disgusting for yeah. me so collect your money as you always do <laughs> why are you shaking <laughs> the funny thing was last year when me and my friend got drunk we went to the river and i was catching those shrimps with my hands i was not scared mm -hmm. but when i'm sober i just cannot why is that why i guess it's just an alcohol makes you brave <laughs> So you have to drink alcohol, so you will be brave. No, it's not the solution. It was the solution, we were so brave. I have to overcome my fears different way. That's true. In the Philippines, let's play spiders and I will let the spiders bite you, okay? No. Yeah, it's, it's very nice playing spiders. In yeah, it's very nice letting spiders bite you, right? <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I experienced many times. I cried so many times when I was a kid. So it hurts? <laughs> yeah, a little. <laughs> And how big the spider is? Small ones, not big ones, but we only have very small ones there. And you know that fact, like the spiders and scorpions are kind of the same thing, and the smaller they are, the more poisonous and dangerous they are. So if I was bitten by those spiders, I died maybe when I was a kid. Hmm? I was not. The poison of the small ones are more, much more. I, there are specific spiders that are poisonous and we know how to distinguish it in the Philippines. The shape depends on the shape of its body. Hmm. Yeah, if it's circle, like round shape, it's not poisonous. But this kind of shape which is thin, which that those are poisonous. In my opinion, because we were only catching those round spiders, not the thin ones. We can't catch the thin ones. They don't allow us, like my brothers. I was the, I was a boy when I was a kid, and they always call me if I'm gonna get married or, or if I will have a boyfriend because I'm boy, very boyish. Yeah. You are. Not. Also, last Saturday we went to the forest for the woods, cutting the trees, chopping, and bringing it here. The work is still not done because those long ones still has to be cut it shorter, split it and then transfer it there under that. Gwen did not attend us in the forest because she had back pain. And? And we had argument as well. <laughs> then she ran away from me. But the thing we have to remember what is the vegetable you always want to eat but you always forget to bring from here carrots yeah, so let's dig it's some carrots tomato tomorrow or today what today we're gonna harvest today mm -hmm. how can i harvest it 
like just uh, the whole stick break it's very nice breed this one it looks like a fairy yeah. small ones mm. just one bite <coughs> like there is this video and this time we were helping my friend with the coal people here in Czech using like coal gas or wood for heating their houses during winter for my family it's heating by wood since ever and it's like so much work always every year once a year whole family and friends has to go to the forest but the heat from the wood it's it hits different than you if you are just having those heaters electric heaters or gas heaters it's really not that feeling like if you will sit in front of the fireplace and you are seeing the fire behind the window and the heat is going to your face and the body it hits different it's worth it she needs the carrots carrots are right here Carrots are right here. Still so many. Ow. <sighs> Huge carrots. Can you harvest everything? Maybe? Like not everything. Left you something. Well, so she, need to get she has it in the fridge still. Here is the place where we throw all the organic waste, leaves, apples, everything to make compost and then using it as a fertilizer for the vegetables we want to grow. Here are Gwen's carrots. Maybe it's enough for one week. Here is the thing I want to also make in the Philippines because I've never seen it there. We are collecting rainwater. Rainwater goes to this container and then we can use it for anything. Why are people not using and collecting rainwater in the Philippines? We do in a bucket. Yeah, but the huge ones. Because those huge ones are very expensive. Crazy. We can't afford buying those. Here are your carrots. What are kind of... Why it's so small? Small? Yeah. You have to dig bigger ones. So guys, this one is small for Gwen. And then you guys are like... Uh, why are men still concerned about the size? It's not related, Gwen says. Uh, there is big ones. Let's check what Gwen's opinion about the big. This here, biggest. Yeah, this one you like? This ones? Yeah, carrots. You like this ones, big ones? Yeah. Yeah, Why good. Not? Why not? I warn you, if it, if it, it will get spoiled in the fridge, no. you will never get any vegetables from I the garden. Look, look. look. <laughs> yeah. I'm peeing. Okay. <laughs> Me and Gwen got to the discussion that Gwen suggested we will start cutting the woods today. But because of that, it's Sunday. The last day of the week, here no. people in Czech don't work. Or you can work, but not really a kind of work which would be noisy and interrupting the neighbors around. Correction. But Gwen told me then, the Sunday is not the last day of the week. Gwen told me it's the first day of it's the first week. Day of the week. According to what? Sunday is the first day of the week, even if you're gonna Google it. That's why in the old calendar, except the iPhone calendar, you can say, you can see that Sunday is the first day of the week. And what I also found out here in Czech, it's not really good to work on Sundays, but in the Philippines, it's not really good to work on Saturdays. 
because Saturday is the last day of the week, right? No, Saturday is the seventh day. Even the Bible says that Saturday is the seventh day and Sunday is the first day. Yeah, it's the last Jesus day. Jesus was crucified. No, Jesus resurrected on the first day. First day of the week, which is Sunday, according to the Bible. Oh, yeah. And seventh day, according to God, seventh day, rest day. But if you're gonna see it in the calendar, seven days Saturday. That's my height. One hundred fifty exactly. Um. One fifty centimeters exactly. This height, you know what age I had this height? Ten. I was sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah, I'm still the same. We have to eat more. Look at you, skinny. And I'm one eighty centimeters. <laughs> And 95 100. kilos. No, 95. That's not true. You're 95. 106. No, you're 106 kilos. <laughs> 95. So you, that means you lose? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So I have to give you more stress then, so you will lose more. Is there? <laughs> is there even more? When you already give it, what you already giving me? That's the thing, guys. If you are with the Filipina, expect the stress is never ending story. Like never. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. But you will get keen mm -hmm. on that and after a couple of years you will just not care because you are relying on that it will go away and she will always come back. Yeah. I don't give mistress too so I will be fat. I wanna be fat. I wanna... This. You want to have muscles or be fat? That's different. Look, look, I have muscles. Too. Yeah, where? Look. It's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's hard. Yeah? Yeah. Like a butter. <laughs> Leave that. Let's see. You wanted to chop the wood, so pick one. Pick okay. one and lift. Which one? This one? <sighs> Easy. I will show you a trick guys, if you are chopping woods and you have this kind of wood, always put it the crack with the way you want to chop it, it will be easier. Just hold it here one hand, put one hand here, hold this wood and now no. Ah. Wow. And what you will do now? Just twist the axe. Hold it on the on the end and just twist it to the side. Ah. <sighs> hmm? Wow. Today you've learned that Jacob is scared of shrimps, Gwen is the professional hunter of shrimp, found out Gwen would be the best lumberjack of Filipinos. <laughs> yeah. We hope it was a nice video for you guys, stay tuned for more. If you like this video hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next videos. Bye!